ที่เราอยู่กับ SM ร้อยเจ็ดจุดสองแคเรามาแชร์เรื่องประสบการณ์กันนะคะกับโปรเฟสเซอร์พอลสไปเซอร์ตอนนี้อาจารย์อยู่ที่ซัปโปโรนะคะแล้วก็ประสบการณ์ตรงเลยกับคนญี่ปุ่นนะคะแล้วก็เล่าเรื่องของคนอังกฤษให้ฟังด้วยจากที่เราได้ยินเรื่องราวต่างๆผ่านโลกโซเชียลออนไลน์แต่ในความเป็นจริงแล้วเราฟังจากปากของคนที่อาศัยอยู่ที่นั่นเลยนะคะ Paul the next and the, I think that is the last uh, question for our program for today let let me ask you about the, what do you think about the next future under after work for the covid situation What kind of population for the next episode? What do you think about that? I'm just looking forward to going out and and having a drink <laughs> with with friends. Stop your drink. <laughs> you know, because you you know you can't go out anywhere, and you know, with kind of you know with your work colleagues and yeah, and with with friends. Yeah, you know, it's kind of important. I think to kind of socialize and stuff. It's good. Cinema, you know, I I really miss the cinema. Going to the <laughs> cinema, really miss the cinema. Because your favorite hobby is seeing a cinema yeah. in the theater yeah. only. Cinema. You can see, you can see Netflix. You can see yeah, on. It's not the same, is it? It's not the same thing. <laughs> cinema is much better, and of course, you know. The, the amount of new films that are being released, there are none. There are not many, and uh, you know, I think a big problem is for musicians is is a bit. That's a kind of a real issue everywhere. Um, the fact that the music industry, as in not the music industry as in the record companies, but the music industry as in the musicians, wherever they are in the world, are really suffering because they can't play. You know, and. You know, in England, in the UK, there are no gigs, there are no sort of concerts, bands, or any type of band. In Japan, there are concerts, but you know, it's kind of half full capacity. You have to wear a mask. You know, you have to do this. You must do that. And it's kind of like the you know, the fun is gone, kind of thing. And I don't think there's been a lot of help for musicians. Hollywood can look after itself, you know, because it has it has the funds to look after itself. But you know, if you're a musician and you you know you're struggling, I mean, it's just and there are loads of people like that, artists and you know, artists and and practitioners and you know, business owners who are really this is a sort of a big, you know, it's a big, it's a really big problem, I think. And the fact that a lot of shops are You know, you're starting to disappear. You know, you walk it. You know, you go for a walk, and you walk down the a kind of a really empty in a, in a really empty city centre, and there's another restaurant's closed, and another shop has closed, and you know, these people have spent years kind of building up a business, and you know, they just can't afford to to get through it. So I think that after it's all over, what we should do. Is we should all kind of go out and support local restaurants and local shops and supermarkets, well, lo local supermarkets and and stores. You know, and really, you know, if you go to a concert, if you go to a, a, a local band concert or a small band's concert, buy their merchandise and to help them to get back on their feet. And and I think it's just you know when when it's all finished, it'll be great. You know, it will fit. It will kind of come to an end. I don't think it'll be gone forever. You know, there'll still be kind of problems, but at, at the same time, you know, the 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 scientists who are developing the vaccine can can continue to work on it to so it can combat new strains or new types of COVID. You know, so they they, they can make it more potent. More kind of um, effective, you know. Keep working on the vaccine, um, you know. So I don't, you know, I don't. I just, I'm fed up of wearing a mask, and I'm I'm sick of kind of not being able to go places. You know, it's kind of annoying, really. But you know, it's one of those things, right? You just, you, what can you do? 
you know, what can you do about it? There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do about it. So just get on with it until sort of such time where we can all go out for a beer and uh, you know, a good time, you know. So, I mean, you know, everyone in, I mean, even the Queen's in lockdown, you know. Even the, the Queen, Queen Elizabeth is in lockdown. She can't go out. She is so locked out. She's in lockdown, yeah. I mean, uh, her... She I, I, to her population, to her people. Yeah, well, she's in lockdown. She's had a she's had a vaccine, so. But she's she, locked out. But yeah, but I mean, her lockdown situation, she's locked down in a castle. <laughs> <laughs> but she's good, responsible, you know. But maybe yeah. she's there for herself. Exactly. She's she's not going out. She's not going to the pub. She's staying at home, and you know, she's had a vaccine, and you know, I think. This is why when you think, oh, is the vaccine safe, right? Because that's what a lot of people are worried about. You know, they're worried about, is the vaccine safe for people? You know, and then you think, well, the Queen has had a vaccine. So if the vaccine was 1%, if the, if the vaccine was 0.001% risky, then they wouldn't have given her the vaccine. <laughs> she had, she's had the vaccine and so you know it must be safe that's a, that's how i think sim simplistically that's how i think so but i just hope you know i hope the vaccine works and I, you know and if you're an anti-vaxxer or you don't believe in vaccines then that's fine don't have a vaccine you know mm. you know if if you because then you know some people don't believe in vaccines and some countries are a very kind of anti-vaccine culture or they're suspicious of a vaccine. So, you know, I don't think people should get angry and say, oh, you know, you should have a vaccine. It's just, well, if you, you know, if you are suspicious of vaccines, don't have a vaccine. And if you're not suspicious of vaccines, have a vaccine. You know, you should have a choice, you know, and I don't think that people should be told to have a vaccine or ordered to have one, but you know, I think it should be down to the each person really. But everyone, what you know, people should have a choice whether to have the vaccine or not. If people are a bit scared about the vaccine, then you know, if you're that worried, don't have a vaccine. But um, I think that a vaccine should be offered by the governments, by every government, vaccines should be offered to everybody. Because mm. at the end of the day, a government has a duty to, to protect and look after and care for its people, right? So, mm. you know, part of that duty includes if there is a problem with, you know, if there is a, is a pandemic, then the government needs to, they, well, it's their duty to protect the, their people or to protect the people of their country. So that must happen, I think. Mm. I think that every government should, you know. I'm certain to develop. Yeah, yeah. Or they should be at least offered. Whether right. people have a vaccine or not, that's I'm their agreeing. choice. Yeah. That's their yeah. choice. But, you know. Even, even, you know, in my country, the medicine people try to find another alternative way. It's like a herbal medicine to cure yeah. pand uh, COVID. But well, do not make sure that is if is this work or not work. I mean that's fine. If you think that herbal tea will you know stop you catching COVID, if that's what you think, then that's fine, you know. But at the end of the day whatever happens a government has a duty to to offer you know a vaccine to the to mm. the people do you want a vaccine yes or no no i don't yes exactly i need it i need it i'm, I'm waiting for it yeah. but it's not it's not come to you know just dream it's yeah. a dream but you nearly come to in in japan 
Well, yeah, mid February. Yeah, I mean, mid February is when the prime minister said that that's when it's going to going to start. And um, even you, even you are foreigner, you can take that medicine. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. You really do not choose whatever whoever you are. No, it will be on age, and the Japanese health care system is kind of amazing. So. It provides you know, well, they, they look, you know, you're you're not Japanese, but you're still, you know, you still look, you still look after you. Like they don't, they don't, you know, there's no, there's no kind of all, you know, we're not going to look after you because you're not. There's no, it's like the the doctors and nurses and medical staff in in Japan is is so professional and so amazing at what they do. Like staff in the UK are exactly the same. You know, they're amazing at what they do as well. All doctors and and nurses during this time are incredible, just in, just incredible. And you know, you'll be given a vaccine just as you know your the the person who lives next door to you, who's Japanese, if they're the same age as you, you'll probably get your vaccines at the same time. So you know, you're not left to the end. You know, it's kind of it's really. The same in England as well. It's all on age. It's not where you're from, or you know, it should never be about that ever. You know, it should be about. I think that, like you know, in the UK, it was it was care home um, workers first. Care home um, residents and workers were the first people to be vaccinated in the UK, and then I think people who are over eighty, then seventy five, then seventy, um, and extremely vulnerable people so it's all done in these brackets like these age brackets and and risk it's to do with age and risk so i think that the uk is is really on the ball and they're really kind of steaming ahead with the vaccinations and i think japan is kind of not far behind really just i think you know a couple of weeks away in the And the prime minister will kind of announce something, but I think that they're with with the J Japanese situation, it's about obtaining the vaccination. About obtaining the vaccinations is what they're trying they're trying to negotiate for the for the vaccinations. So once that's done, this country is so like brilliant with efficiency that it will be done with no fuss at all. You know, it will just be. People will just get on with it, and it'll be done. And you know. เมื่อสักครู่นี้นะคะคุณชมคุณผู้ฟังคะได้ถามอาจารย์พอว่าแล้วในอนาคตข้างหน้าเนี่ยชีวิตเราจะต้องแคร์ฟูอะไรบ้างแล้วก็ควรจะต้องเป็นอย่างไรต่อไปขออาจารย์พอเขาบอกว่าเขาก็หยุดคิดนานมากเขาก็เขาก็หยุดคิดนานมากนะเขาเขาไม่รู้ว่าเฮ้ยเดี๋ยวฟิวเจอร์อนาคตมันจะเป็นยังไงแต่เขาก็บอกว่าภายใต้การเรียนรู้เรื่องของโควิดเนี่ยค่ะสิ่งที่เขาแย่ที่สุดสําหรับตัวเขาเองคือเขาออกไปดูหนังไม่ได้ he cannot go to movie or theater เขาออกไปดูหนังไม่ได้เพราะเพราะด้วยด้วยด้วยสาขาที่อาจารย์เขาสอนคืออาจารย์เขาสอนด้านฟิล์มการไปดูหนังคือเรื่องปกติของเขาในการที่จะซีนิมาเนี่ยแล้วก็มามาสอนเด็กแต่ตอนนี้เขาออกไปดูซีนิมาไม่ได้เมื่อกี้ก็เลยบอกว่าเอ้าก็ดูซีนิมาหรือดูฟิล์มในในเน็ตฟิกหรือในออนไลน์เขาบอกมันคนละมันคนละอารมณ์กันนะเพราะฉะนั้นไอ้ตัวไลฟ์ไลฟ์บอดแคสต์หรือไลฟ์คอนเสิร์ตไลฟ์มูฟวี่ไลฟ์ซีนิมาการไปดูอะไรที่มันสดๆเช่นศิลปินผู้มิวสิเชียนพวกนักร้องนะคะที่ต้องเล่นดนตรีสดๆหรือพวกอาร์ติสต์ศิลปินต่างๆที่จะต้องไปจอยนิ่งกับคนเนี่ยค่ะหรือแม้กระทั่งพวกนักปฏิบัติการต่างๆที่เป็นพวก practitioner หรือ restaurant ที่จะต้องเปิดร้านอาหารแล้วก็คนต้องเข้ามาทานใน,ในที่สาธารณะมาจอยมันก็จะไปมีวิถีชีวิตแบบแบบเดิมที่ผ่านมาไม่ได้อีกต่อไปในอนาคตข้างหน้าเราต้องยิ่งคอนเซิร์นกับสิ่งเหล่านี้แล้วก็เหตุการณ์เหล่านี้มากขึ้นและยิ่งกว่านั้นคือการช้อปปิ้งในห้างสรรพสินค้าใหญ่มันคงจะไม่มีเหตุการณ์การช้อปปิ้งแบบนั้นอีกต่อไปในในการเรียนรู้ของโควิดที่ผ่านมานะคะแล้วก็ที่สําคัญเลยอาจารย์พอก็บอกว่ารัฐบาลเนี่ยต้องต้องดูแลประชาชนให้ดีๆโดยเฉพาะในกรณีของการฉีดวัคซีนเพราะว่าอย่างคีนอลิซาเบตเนี่ยค่ะที่ประเทศอังกฤษอาจารย์พอก็พูดถึงถึงชนชั้นกษัตริย์ของเขาในประเทศอังกฤษนะคะจริงๆเขาแตะได้นะคะพูดถึงได้ไม่ผิดอะไรเลยก็มีการล็อกตัวเองในพาเลสนะคะก็อยู่ในวัง
ก็ไม่ออกไปไหนเลยแล้วก็จะไม่พยายามเอาตัวเองออกไปเสี่ยงหรือพยายามให้คนอื่นเข้ามาเสี่ยงในวังของตัวเองดังนั้นเนี่ยการล็อกดาวน์ของพีนอลิซาเบตจึงเป็นตัวอย่างที่ดีให้กับ population หรือ people ในประเทศอังกฤษแม้กระทั่งควีนเองยังล็อกดาวน์ตัวเองแล้วคุณละ่ะทำไมไม่รู้จักรับผิดชอบสังคมแล้วก็ประเทศของตัวเองด้วยเพราะฉะนั้นนี่คือความรับผิดชอบที่แสดงโดยสถาบันกษัตริย์ของประเทศอังกฤษแล้วก็เป็นสัญลักษณ์สําคัญที่ทําให้คนในประเทศของเขาเนี่ยก็แม้ว่าเขาจะแอนตี้ในบางเรื่องแต่เขาก็ยินดีที่จะทําตามในสิ่งที่มันดีต่อคนทางประเทศของเขานะฮะแต่ว่าแน่นอนวิถีชีวิตของผู้คนก็ต้องเปลี่ยนไปภายใต้สถานการณ์และการเรียนรู้เรื่องโควิดนะะอันนี้ก็จะเป็นข้อแรกเปลี่ยนที่ดีระหว่างกันนะคะกับรายการ g o c a l Digit Radio FM 107.25 MHz Thank you for joining my program Paul This is your second time to join my program yes. in my country even we are on board not on site yes. However I wish to see you in Japan and I wish you be here in my country Yes, in, in beautiful okay. Thailand. Um, remember, I'm not an expert on this subject. So, however, just, generally, idea, generally, you know, idea. just what you know, what I've experienced in Japan and heard in from people in the UK that you know. But I think, um, you know. But you the know. one, the one thing that I see that because your weather now is snowing, mm. the weather can. Prevent the COVID pandemic. Is that right or not? Well, no. Well, well actually, last year um, in Sapporo, you they have a, the snow festival, and lots of people come from from Asia and other cities in Japan. And last winter, Sapporo was the kind of like the epicenter, well, Hokkaido, where Sapporo, the island that Sapporo is on, was. Was the kind of epicenter of the outbreak. The highest numbers were here last year, um, but obviously this year there was no snow festival. There were no tourists, um, so at the moment the numbers in Sapporo are quite are, are not so are not so high. So, you know, yeah, you could say well because it's very very cold. So and this year the numbers are really low. So maybe COVID doesn't. Thrive in cold weather, but then last year, this period, the same period with the same temperature, this city was kind of the highest, had the highest number of infections. So, I don't know really. I don't think weather has a, a lot. I don't think it's like a cold or the flu, which is kind of, you know, associated with cold weather. I think um, it could it could be. I think it's any weather. It, we have to be careful in hot heat and and cold and you know because Tokyo in the summer was really the levels were really high and Tokyo in the summer is really really hot. So you know you could say well maybe it's to do with heat, but then here last winter in Sapporo the numbers were really high and it was really cold. So I think it spreads regardless of weather conditions. You know I think it's just is any. Anything, my, you know, from what, from what's happened before, could be anything. Mm. So, people mm. should just be careful. Wear a mask. อาจารย์เขาก็บอกว่ามันไม่เกี่ยวกับอากาศอะไรทั้งสิ้นแม้ว่าตอนนี้จะจะหิมะตกก็ตามแต่ว่าหิมะตกก็ไม่ได้ช่วยทําให้สถานการณ์ของการ distancing มันดีขึ้นยังไงก็ตามชีวิตมันก็ต้องเดินต่อไปแล้วไอ้ตัวเชื้อโรคอันนี้มันก็คงไม่ได้แบบจะหายไปเพราะหิมะหรือแม้กระทั่งในฤดูร้อนก็จะหายไปตามที่เรามีความเชื่อแบบแบบที่เราได้ยินมาในกระแสสังคมออนไลน์นะคะโอเค I think that this is the last minute that for us to talk in program on the radio however we keep talking for another topic okay thank you so much Paul let okay. let me talk after the program and okay. I will have an, another idea to interview you for another chapter on my radio program again Thank okay. you so much for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.